And that's why the Evil Dead 2 will never be better than the first one. Speaking of Evil Dead. Yeah, Uncle Danny's a weird dude. He was a professor for years and then he just quit. Mom said he's into the occult or something. Anyways, doesn't matter. He's on a safari or something. We've got the whole place to ourselves. <laughs> Gnarly. Is that the good stuff? The good stuff? How should I know? Just swiped it from my mom's stash. <laughs> the things we do for girls. I hope it's worth it. Mm. By the way, who's she bringing again? Does it matter? I mean, this is Maxine we're talking about. You know, the Maxine I've been in love with since forever. <laughs> I think I uh, may finally tell her tonight. Our boy's growing up. Okay, let's pretend she does like you back. Don't you think it's kind of weird she's been carrying that doll around? People might judge you. Dude, come on, Jordan and Elaine, chill. So, you two dweebs scored the booze, huh? We're not. Yeah, we're the dweebs. Right, well that's uh, enough of the small talk. What do you say we uh, party hardy? Ugh, gag me with a spoon. This is my uncle's. That's a great story. Hey, Robbie. Um, I, I thought of you at the carnival. It's, it's for the alcohol. Again, it's really cool of you, Robbie. So are we drinking or what? Outside's not so bad now. Relax, babe. This place is perfect. I mean, what goes better with alcohol than weird culty looking books? Shall we? Never have I ever seen Fright Night. Uh, dude, you saw that movie with me. Oh, right. I thought you were talking about something else. Okay, losers. Play nice. The point is to drink, right? <sighs> okay. Uh, never have I ever... Butter butter to pair. <laughs> What? Junior was a blur. I barely remember anything. <laughs> okay. Um, never have I ever... I, I've got... I've got nothing. Oh, come on, Maxine. You had a lot more to say at Randy's party. You really gonna act shy now? No. No, I... I... I just... Come on, Ruxpin, spit it out. Don't be so lame. Um, okay. Never have I ever... Profusely vomited in my own lap in my ex's driveway at three in the morning just to climb up her terrace and confess my undying love to her and puke stained clothes. <laughs> Maybe I deserve that. Maybe. Mm. Your turn. Okay, um, I've never... Never have I ever. Yeah, right, um, okay. Never have I ever liked someone so much that I um, left flowers and chicken noodle soup on their doorstep when they were sick for a week with flu. Um, 
but actually it turned out that their family was out of town on vacation. <laughs> this is freaking lame, dude. <laughs> Hey, you know what? At least I used a door instead of a window. All right, new game. That's not a toy. It's very old. My uncle wouldn't want us touching it. Where is he? Your uncle? I don't see him anywhere. Besides, who leaves reading material on a coffee table and doesn't expect it to get read? Now, dear brethren, if you would please lend your ears, I would like to recite a verse from... Did you forget how to read? Who? It's... It was written in another language, but somebody like wrote in it, translated it, I think. Okay, what's it say? This isn't a good idea. Dude, literally, this is like a wet dream for you. I mean, <laughs> you love this horror stuff. <laughs> yeah, on the screen in movies, not in real life. I say, read it, live a little. Read it. All right. Hear now the words of innocent man, two or more in your presence. He who came after ye thought to be forgotten and cast out for your rebellious ways. We invoke ye. Your great work of magic is sought this very hour. That's Hold on. There's more. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, okay. Uh, we heed your great work of magic. We invoke you. Te invoco a profundis inferni zapatha. All right. What now? Nothing, nothing. Uh, the book's bullshit. Let's get back to Mr. Daniels here. Oh, that were in those shots. Guys? 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 Hello there. My name is Teddy Ruxpin. How are you today? I would like to tell you the story of the missing princess. It all started when you were touching things that didn't belong to you. Now you've released one of my very bestest friends, Zapata. Would you please say hi to our new friend? Um, hello? Did you know that there are children in your What? Are you guys started this. haven't been treated properly? Some of those stories may not have happy endings. There isn't a magic wizard in your world who can help keep children safe. Did you know that Lizzie didn't listen to Mommy and Daddy when the strange man approached her? What's the rule about talking to strangers? You should never talk to strangers. Tell me, friend. Did you talk to a stranger today? Vaccine! Is it weird I kind of want one now? <laughs> the hell? Help me get her down! <gasps> hey. Please go away, Robbie. No, hey. look, I, I... I don't know what's going on in there, but... You're far more important than a floating girl in a... 
talking demonic bear. He was right. He was right. What happened to Lizzie? She was kidnapped. She was kidnapped. That's that stupid Teddy Ruxpin dolls. It was hers, and I, I just kind of, I hold on to it because, God, because one day she'll come back. One day she might come back. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had no idea. How could you? The police... The police are investigating it. Mommy, <laughs> I don't... I don't know if she's ever gonna come back. Hey, hey. <laughs> you can't talk like that. You have to be strong for her. I know you. I've known you for what feels like a lifetime. I know this probably isn't the right time to say this, but... Uh, hey, hey, it's okay. It's all right. Okay, I'm gonna go check on that. You're safe here? Okay. Okay. Stay here. Okay. Uh, I saw it. You saw what? Zapatha. You saw Zapatha. Oh, you did talk to a stranger today. Zapatha. Will you shut it up? Where was he? Guys, guys, guys. Do you know how uncomfortable it is to possess a teddy bear? Are you Zapatha? You shouldn't talk to strangers. He's possessed! Like in the movie The Exorcist! The 1973 supernatural horror film directed by William Friedkin, Ellen Burstyn, Jason Miller, Linda Blair. You guys are really good. Who cares about the exorcist? What do we do? We exercise him. We do what? You've seen the movie a lot, right? You count 22 times is a lot. Maxine? Why'd you let the bad man take me? <gasps> you were supposed to protect me. <laughs> what are you, Sorry, Maxine, but your princess is an- I've always known you were just a prancer. A whore. I mean, look at you. Nothing but meat to a lion. Come on, Elena, don't you want to feel me? The Bible! Neil, read something! Oh, why no, Dr. Seuss? Uh, a quarrelsome wife is like the dripping of a leaky roof in a- in a rainstorm? Oh, Mother, please, make it stop. It's hurting. It's something that fits our situation. You know the Bible? Oh. oh, great. So you're gonna read a psalm for me, you slut. For every time is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to cast away Neil. stones and a time to cast Cross, we need to cross. You should have picked a different flick movie for you. Tell me, what's this from? I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your words right there. Shining asshole. 
way easier than the movie made it out to be. Oh shit. Maxine. Are you guys serious? Wait, where is she? Uh, I, I don't know. Listen, I'll check out back. We'll find her, okay? Okay, obviously I blacked out. Are we in hell? Come, children. Join me. Don't be a statistic like the missing princess. Why do you release? Look what you did. But you do not understand. You. You will be rewarded for your obedience. For your faithfulness. For you. I've done it so What I did? What, what happened? <laughs> she was just... Hey, you're okay. You're okay. That's okay. <coughs> Is it true? You brought us here to what? Sacrifice us? Listen, man. I didn't know. He gave me his keys to that house. <laughs> Why? He told me not to say anything to anyone. Even your best friend. Yes, best friend. Really spirit aggressive. So like this, this, this is all a game to you? No. Better. It's a movie. <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? You see, I just saw Maxine take her last breath. <laughs> you Maxine have been in love with it. It's forever. Holy shit! You can kill me, Robbie, but that doesn't change the fact that we're in a, in a real life horror movie. Can you believe it? It's the book. I know it sounds weird, but I can feel the connection to it. He who controls the book controls the demon. Number one rule of horror movies. Villains should never show their hand. Read the book. No. Give it to me. Well, I have to applaud you kids. 
You really performed a great feat tonight. Uncle. Uncle Danny. No. Uncle Danny isn't home. I prefer... Nathan, <laughs> why? Jordan, don't you remember it's the key? We're gonna walk out of here. Think, boy, anything. You want Maxine back? She's yours. And you're gonna watch us? You got that? Or I'm gonna burn it? Someone's got a secret. Can she keep it? Oh, don't be embarrassed. He likes girls, too. What is he talking about? Jordan, don't listen to him. He's trying to split us up. He's trying to divide us. Hold on, is it true? Jordan, we have to go now! Can we talk this over? Go, 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 go! No! It's a heart attack. Get the hell out of my way! No, no, no! You have to burn the book, too! If you're listening to this tape, I didn't make it. And, well, that's kind of sad. It also rocks. Because that means we released Sepotha, a real-life demon. That's right! We made our very own real-life badass horror movie. And no one can tell our story but us. That's why you, <laughs> yes you, Robbie, you have to tell our story. You have to let the whole world know what went down here. They'll make a movie about us. Better yet? They'll immortalize us. Worship us. Can you imagine? I know things... You should have told me. I never mentioned this to anyone. Neil loved horror movies. Let him burn in hell knowing he had his own personal life. No one will know the story of Sabah. Thank <laughs> you. 